Hello class, so this week we have been working on building two digit numbers using tens and ones. So like for the number 23, we know that that is three tens, or two tens, sorry, two tens, and three ones. Okay, so today what I want to go over is how to build three digit numbers. And three digit numbers are numbers that have three uh, numbers in it, like the number 112. Okay, so see how there's three numbers in this three digit number? There's three digits in this number, that's why we call it a three digit number. So if you look over here, we know that the number that's furthest right is going to be in the ones place. So we see that it's going to have two ones, okay? Now the next number is how many tens are in the number. In that number, there is one ten. Now, if we want to say that this next number is the hundreds place. So whatever number is in this, is in this place is how many hundreds that are in the number. And if we want to show that there is one one hundred, we can use something called a one hundreds flat. You might remember this from class, okay? So I just built the number 112, okay? Let's look at another number. I'm going to make a little chart here for me. I'm going to make a chart where I put my ones, my tens, and my hundreds, okay? We're used to this chart here where it just has the tens and the ones, but now I'm adding the hundreds place, okay? So if I want to build the number 121, I can put each of these digits into the correct place. So I know that there's going to be one one, two tens, and 100, 121, okay? So let's see, I want you guys to do a few more with me, okay? Let's do the number 234. If we look at this number, we can put each of, these num each of the digits in this number into one of the places. We have four ones, three tens, and two hundreds. So if I wanted to build this number using base 10 blocks, I would need four ones cubes. I would need three ten sticks. One, two, three. And I would need two hundreds. One, two. All right, let's look at another number. Let's look at the number 102. Okay? So like when we're counting, it goes 100, 101, 102. Let's see which number is in the ones place. Is the zero in the ones place? No. Is the two in the ones place? Yes. So let's go ahead and put the two right here in the ones place. In the tens place, we have a zero. And in the hundreds place, we have a one. Okay, now let's build this number using our base 10 blocks. How many ones do we need? We need two ones. How many tens do we need? That's right, we need zero tens, so I'm not going to put any ten, stick, ten sticks here. How many hundreds do we need? That's right, we need one hundred. Okay, so one hundred and two. Since there's a zero in the tens place, we don't put any ten sticks. Okay, all right, let's show you another one. This time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the 
base 10 blocks on and I want to us to try to figure out what number did I build, okay? So I'm going to put three ones, I'm going to put 110, and I'm going to put 100, okay? Let's look at what we have here. How many ones do we have? We have three ones. How many tens do we have? We have one ten. How many hundreds do we have? We have one hundred. So what number did I build? Let's put all the numbers together. One hundred, one ten, and three ones. So I built the number 113. Let's try another one. This time I'm going to put five ones. I'm not going to put any 10 sticks on, but I'm going to put a hundreds block or a hundreds flat. What number did I build? Well, let's count how many ones, tens, and hundreds we have. I put one, two, three, four, five ones. Did I put any tens? Right, I didn't put any tens. So what number should I put here? A zero. Okay. How many hundreds flats did I put down? I put one hundreds flat down. So let's see what number I built. I had one hundred, zero tens, and five ones. I built the number one hundred five. All right, thank you guys for watching.